Okay, so I had intended to shoot a video to show the uh, mix in little pup yesterday, and apparently I goofed up and didn't didn't capture that footage. So, okay, so this is the actual foam proportioner. It is a digitally controlled, and it has the red represents the hose actual temperature, and the green is the set point. And then there are pump controls for A and B. And uh, I'll talk more about proportioning in a little bit. To keep the air that goes into my drums dry, I'm using uh, dry right desiccant cartridges. They have an indicator window down here. And then I've added a valve to turn them on and off so that when it's not in use, I know that my drums stay sealed. And the red is isocyanate, which is one component of multi-component foam, and the B is a polyol. I'm using Quadrant 2.0. Um, there are many uh, foams out there on the market. This is a closed cell two pound foam. And I'm using Northern Tool drum dollies to decant my drums. In here, the hose is going to the upstairs area right now. There's a indicated hose heat and a set point for hose heat. And then each side can be, the proportioner can be adjusted so that if you're, you're working with a product that requires say a two to one ratio, you can adjust it. In this case, I need a one to one ratio, so I set it and then I, I verify the calibration by using clear plastic cups. You know, basically dispense into the cups. Um, you can see that in my other video. Um, there's not much to the machine. It's a, it's a really nice design and it makes DIY foam affordable for somebody like me that wants to retrofit their house and achieve a very high level of energy efficiency. Um, I am working with a local Houston based distributor. Um, when I contacted them and explained what I was up to and that I had purchased the equipment, they were really good about ensuring that I received the appropriate safety training. Um, and uh, you know that's available online free of charge. I highly recommend. You, you really shouldn't be using these materials or buying these chemicals if you don't have the proper safety training. Um, you know, there's a lot of chemicals that are sold that uh, you know the manufacturer will go overboard in the warning. Um, this is one where the warnings are really appropriate. Both A side and B side are um, irritants. Um, the isocyanate, as in cyanide, um, will really mess you up if you don't have respect for it and handle it appropriately. Um, there's also a pump that you may or may not be able to see here. I've got a, an acetone uh, pump and, and that's just part of the purge system on this gun. Um, and you know, this is really a simple way to deal with it. Um, Graco has uh, sure shot, I think they call them sure shot cartridges. They're a little bit on the pricey side and it's just an ass, it's just a solvent dispensing system to clear out the, the foam. So if, if they had a fourth line on their gun um, that handled um, a solvent like acetone, you, you could do the same thing on that type of gun. Um, so, you know, Dan did a great job with this, um, has answered every question I've had about how to use the equipment and making sure it was right for me. Um, well packed, showed up right, you know. And, and this is a portable unit. I don't have to feed it from 55 gallon drums. So if I wanted to use five gallon can pails, I could. Um, in fact, I, I'm probably gonna, my, my consumption's gonna run over what my calculations were and I'm probably gonna need to buy some five gallon pan pails. And fortunately, um, Quadrant makes a product that is uh, compatible with this machine. Um, I think they call it Retro Seal and it's, it's a, basically a cold foam designed for a Graco E8 or E10. This machine is right in the same camp as a Graco E8 or E10 minus the silly price tag.